AutoCAD is a robotic lawnmower. It has a variety of features that distinguish it from other robotic lawnmowers available. So let's go through them and see what AutoCAD can do. The mowing platters are mounted at the front rather than between the wheels. This gives the advantage of reaching nukes properly and having a greater mowing width of 34 cm. The platters itself offer holes for different blade sizes. Each mowing platter is driven by a 85 watt DC motor. The speed of the motors is measured with back EMF to regulate their speeds using PWM. The mowing height can be set in software and is applied using a linear motor and a linear potentiometer. AutoCAD has four wheel drive and a passive hinge. For driving, a separate microcontroller calculates the speed each wheel must go, depending on the actual angle of the hinge and the curve the robot wants to drive. It then regulates the speed using PWM and back EMF. Although the robot weighs massive 7.6 kilograms, it has absolutely no problems moving around. Thanks to the tremendous torque, it can push up to 8 kilograms with wheels still spinning. AutoCAD is powered by a rechargeable LiPo battery pack with 14.8 volts and 10 amp hours capacity. This enables it to mow non-stop for about one and a half hours. The battery pack is designed to be automatically exchanged when empty so that the robot could mow endless. There are two additional USB power banks on the robot so that the mains battery can be swapped without the control system losing power. A proper battery holder as well as the changing station are yet to come. Electronics on the AutoCAD are split two separate modules. They are connected with a power and a I2C bus. On the top there is the mainboard with a Raspberry Pi running Arch Linux. Since there is a hardware bug in the Raspberry Pi's I2C interface, it will be replaced with a Cubiboard 2 very soon. Second from top is the mowing controller, which regulates the mowing speed and height. Below that is the driving controller with 4 H bridges. Since calculating each wheel speed and regulating them without resonance turned out to be rather tricky, the software for this microcontroller is the most advanced one in this project. On the bottom there is the power supply module with all the fuses and a beeper that goes off when the mains battery is either empty or unconnected. On the Raspberry Pi there is a web server hosting some HTML and JavaScript for the web interface. The page itself then opens a WebSocket to a second server written in Python. The second server receives commands via the WebSocket and uses the I2C bus to talk to all the other microcontrollers on the modules. The feature that makes AutoCAD stand out the most compared to other robotic lawnmowers is that it will be able to operate with precise navigation instead of random bump and turn. This way not only lots of time and energy are saved, but it also does not miss small nukes or even get trapped in them. The navigation is based on ultrasound since sound is rather slow and therefore ideal for measuring distances. The idea is that the number of nodes is placed in the garden and a master node on top of the robot measures the distance to each node to calculate its position. For this positioning system, data containing for example the destination node's address needs to be transmitted via the ultrasound burst. After reliable data transmission was possible, I moved on to measuring distances. There is a prototype of a normal node and the master node, and measuring the distance between them works very well. The range is 1.3 to 6.3 meters, but it's only limited by a fixed signal boost. A digital potentiometer will fix this limitation very soon.